Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David. David? Hmm? David, what do other people do on evenings like this? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, whatever you ask me. I didn't ask you any question that could be answered with a yes. Then, uh, no. I didn't ask you a question that could be answered with a no, either. <laughs> well, uh, what did you ask me? Don't you ever listen to what I say? No, well, only when you say something important. Well, how can you tell if it's something important if you don't listen to what I say first? I can tell. <laughs> How? Oh, by the tone of your voice. Oh. Oh. Don't you want to know what I ask you? Not particularly. That's a nice thing for a husband to say to his wife. What one year of marriage will do. You can take your nose out of that drawing board for one minute. It won't hurt you. It's only been in it for one minute. All right, forget it. See if I care. What is it, darling? What is what? What is it you said? Nothing important. Well, I know that. Just tell me what you said and get it over with. I just said that I wondered what other people did on an evening like this. What other people? Any other people. Oh. The world is full of other people. What do you suppose they're doing? People here in Eastbrook or people in South America or people in Africa or the North Pole. You make it so complicated. I'm trying to simplify it. Why I love you, I will never know. Except that I do. Say, what do you suppose they are doing? Well, all depends. Some people might be still having dinner. Others might be just going to bed. We've had dinner. Let's go to bed. It's too early. Besides, I'm busy. I'm working or trying to. I wonder if any other people are busy over there drawing boards. Well, maybe other people who are architects are. Mm, I bet not. I bet no other man sits around in the evening ignoring his wife as if you were a piece of furniture. Now, look at here, piece of furniture. You were the one that suggested that I get some work done so that tomorrow morning we could get busy on buying a cow. Did I suggest that? You did indeed. I said to myself at the time, what a really intelligent woman I married. Well, you did. That's exactly what I am. Mm-hmm. So do you mind if I get back to work just to oblige you, of course? No, I don't mind. Good. At least I shouldn't mind, so go back to your work, darling. Thank you. You want an ashtray before you settle down? Yes. This time it worked. What worked? You didn't listen to what I asked you, and it just so happened it was the right answer. (laughs) Well, you better see that it just so happened you asked me the right questions from now on. Will do. (laughs) Now, David, don't you bother with me. You just get back to your work. I I will entertain myself. After all, I wasn't married all my life. I used to know how to spend my evenings alone. Now, don't tell me that you ever sat alone without a date, Mrs. Knott. Yes, often. You did. Mm. Now, get back to work, David. I know. Let's see. Yes, I know exactly what I'm going to do, so don't worry about me. Well, aren't you going to even tell me first? Certainly, if you're interested. I'm going to play... Solitaire. Solitaire? Certainly solitaire. Solitaire means a game to play alone. Well, that's perfect. That's me. I didn't know you played cards. I don't. I just play solitaire. Which kind do you play? Oh, well, I play the kind of seven cards across with the little piles of cards underneath turned under. Oh, that kind. Is there any other kind? There are lots of other kinds. Well, I don't know any of them. I just know the kind seven cards with across the little pies of the... piles of the cards turned under mm, and over. That's right. And, yeah. And you go red, black, mm. red, black, and you build on aces. Mm-hmm. And the only thing you could put in empty spaces is kings, and you go through the cards three at a time. Of course, you realize that if I didn't know what you were talking about, I wouldn't know what you were talking about. What's that you said? <laughs> Skip it. Now get back to work, and don't be so nosy. Where are you going? Just going to get the card table out of the hall closet. Want me to help? I do not. I want you to do your work or I'll feel guilty. Say, do you think it'd be better if I played solitaire in the dining room? No, come on in here. You won't disturb me. Well, all right. I'm not going to say 
Another word to you. You sure? Realize. You sure? Huh? Another word. Yeah. All right. Sure, I'm sure. Besides, you've done half the talking, so don't sound so unbelieving. Anyway, it takes two people to talk. Really? Funny, I always thought it just took you. I'll ignore that. Say, how does this table work, anyway? It's all sort of squatted under like, like an Indian. <laughs> Can't get the legs out. Oh, no, David, now don't answer me. I'll do it myself. <clears throat> I think they'd find a way to make things simple. Where are the directions? Ouch! Oh, darn, I pinched my finger. Stop bleeding. Just uh, pinch that little rod, darling. Well? It worked. Must be a trick to it. Just know how. Get back to your drawing board. Yes, sir. Now, chair. Cards. Over here in this little left-hand drawer of the desk. Um... Move over a little, darling. You just keep giving me a running commentary of your activities, and I'll get a lot accomplished. Am I talking aloud? Very loud. Hmm. Cards. Now, just sit myself down at the table, shuffle the cards. Just a little softer, please, darling. Oh, I'm sorry, David. I didn't mean to talk. It's all right. It's free country. Well, not for wives, it isn't. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Now, there we are. Did you turn up a good set of cards? Mm, nope, not so good. Just one ace turned up. That's pretty good. Queen on a king and a nine on a ten. Turn up one. <laughs> Oh, wrong two. Well, guess that's all I can do. Start going through the pack. Three at a time. Claudia. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be talking aloud again. It's just a habit a person gets but into. Claudia, I was going to say... I know, I know, I know. I'll be quieter. You won't even hear my card shuffling. But darling, I... Shh! Now, don't talk. Work. There's a six that belongs on a seven. Where? Fourth pile. I don't see it. Are you blind? I can see it from over here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, six of hearts. Hello, six of hearts. How are you? Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Now, go back to work. Can't even play solitary correctly. Well, I haven't played it in years. Oh, fine excuse. You want me to go to the dining room? Shh. Hmm. Through the pack once. Only two cards. It's not very good, Miss Brown. You'll have to do better. Who is Miss Brown? Miss Brown who? You just called yourself Miss Brown. I did? Hmm. Well, that's a hangover from my solitary, solitaire days. Correction, you will have to do better, Mrs. Norton. Well, that's better, Miss Brown. Nope, 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 nope. That won't work. I need more aces, more aces. This is nice, David, very nice, just us two, busy all alone, busy in our own way. Yeah, yeah. This is being married. Well, back to the game. Oh, dear me, I'm not going to win this way. I've gone through the pack again, nothing turned up. Well, now, let's see. Now, um... You're uh, supposed to turn up three cards at a time, darling. I know. Well, you didn't turn up three ca ta cards at a time, darling. Why? Didn't I? You turned up two. You are supposed to be working, not watching. You cheated. I didn't. I just turned up two cards instead of three because it wouldn't have done me any good to turn up three. Well, that's cheating. It is not cheating. It's only when you do something against the rules, when you're playing with somebody else, when you do it behind their back. Mm, clear as mud. I'm not playing with anybody else. I know perfectly well what I'm doing. So how can I be cheating? Because you broke the rules. Turning up three cards wouldn't have done me any good. Anyway, what's the difference to anybody? It just isn't the way you play the game. Poof on the way to play the game. 
I never win on the way to play the game. You'd rather cheat and win, wouldn't you? But I didn't cheat. Who am I playing against? You're playing against the cards. I'm playing with the cards. Well, don't, don't act so dumb. You know what I mean. I don't like your implying that I would cheat at I, cards. I didn't imply, I tell you. What kind of a girl are you, anyway? You're not supposed to be snooping. <laughs> I don't tell lies, I don't steal, I don't commit acts, murders, I don't embezzle the government. Why shouldn't I help myself to a little card if I need it? Because it isn't honorable. That is just a matter of a point of view. Oh. Honorable. You play your way, I'll play mine, and stop peeking. All right, if that's the way you want it. I don't see what fun it can be if you don't follow the rules. Stop talking like a man. Go back to your drawing board, I'm busy. Let me know how you come out, little Miss Al Capone. Very funny. Hey, David, I think I heard something. What? I think I heard the baby crying. No, I didn't hear anything. You were concentrating. I better go up and see. Mama's upstairs. Well, Mama's probably asleep by now. I'll just be a second. Good chance for you to get your work finished, darling. I've been so interrupted, I'll never get my work done. I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Let's see. Hmm. Eight of hearts. And nine of spades. Turn up one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Two of clubs. Just a little deuce that I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. No three. Three cut, turn up, three cut, turn up. B -A -A -U. I'm certainly not going to win this way. I'll have to do a little finagling here. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Put that card down, mm -hmm. Mr. Norton. Claudia, what are you doing here? Peeking over your shoulder. Put that card down, Mr. Norton. Now, why should I? Because you were going to put it down in an empty space, and only kings belong in empty space. Well, how did you know I was? Where else would you put it? Well, I, uh, I, uh... Honestly, the pot calling the kettle black. You had a nerve, David Norton, lecturing me about cheating, and then the minute my back is turned, you put a ten down in an empty space. If you want a lesson in light-hearted entertaining, watch teenagers make plans for a party. Who'll bring the Coke, they ask. And after that's settled, their worries are over. For if there's enough Coca-Cola to go round, there's sociability to spare. Then they can all play refreshed. Say, Joe, Joe, before you go, tell me one thing. If I can, David. How do you play solitaire? Well, I shuffle the cards and... Uh, Put out seven. I, yeah, in yeah. seven piles. Yeah. And, then turn them over one at a time. Some mm -hmm. aces are there. You put mm -hmm. those up, and then you put a deuce mm -hmm. on the ace yeah. and a three on the deuce and so forth. Mm -hmm. I That's... guess just the way you or Claudia do. And that means, uh... Well, <laughs> now and then I guess I do deal from the bottom of the deck. Well, thanks for the information. Good night, Joe. <laughs> That's right. Get a good night's sleep, David, because tomorrow's a big day. It is? You just about add a new member to your household, you know. I do. A female member. That sounds interesting. I better tell Claudia to get the guest room ready. Oh, I don't think you'll need the... Well, you'll find out tomorrow. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment... Think of Coca-Cola, for Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs>